$1.4 billion economic investment is coming to our area. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Leaders at the battery maker Natron Energy say that they are building a first-of-a-kind factory there. It's going to be located in Edgecombe County. CBS 17's Gilat Malamet tells us exactly what that means for the area financially. The first sodium ion battery gigafactory in the United States. We're going to revolutionize the market for batteries. It's coming here to the Kingsboro mega site off Highway 64 in Edgecombe County. It's sort of our field of dreams. And so it isn't just a piece of land, it's a gateway to opportunity. Natron Energy is investing $1.4 billion to develop a clean energy battery factory 40 times the size of this one it has in Michigan. The company will hire more than 1,000 people with an average salary of $64,000. North Carolina is becoming the heart of the booming battery bill. And this emerging clean energy economy means more good paying jobs in our state and more money in the pockets of families. Founder and co-CEO Colin Wessel says the company could not find 437 acres of shovel-ready land anywhere else in the country. But that's far from Edgecombe County's only draw. We see a huge, well-educated population of highly skilled workers. This is not the first time a major investment was planned for this site. In 2022, Triangle Tire pulled its $580 million investment. I asked a spokesperson for the Department of Commerce what he has to say to people who may be skeptical of this investment after the last one not working out. He says that Natron Energy is a company with a lot of backing behind it, and he believes that geopolitical forces may have been at play with Chinese tire company Triangle Tire deciding to pull out. The area has seen recent job losses, with Pfizer laying off 60 people from its Rocky Mount plant this summer. And in 2021, just across the road from this site, a massive fire destroyed Rocky Mount's QVC plant. Close to 2,000 people lost their jobs. Rocky Mount's mayor, Sandy Robertson, says Natron Energy. This is just the beginning. We're standing on the brink of an economic renaissance. In Edgecombe County, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News.